Thanks for tuning in to Out of Scope, where we talk about business, sports, and marketing. I'm Brian Cristiano, CEO of Bold Worldwide, and this is episode number 50, Passion, Products, and Performance. Sports marketing expert, Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Sports fans are arguably the most passionate people probably on the face of this planet. Marketers and advertisers and brands always have to keep in mind, you have to play to the state of your audience. If you're not passionate, do something else. Episode number 50, I almost can't believe it. We've learned so much in 49 episodes, and I'm really excited for what's to come, and I hope all of you continue to take the ride with us. Uh, thanks for everybody who's tuned in to the first 49 and sent me messages. It's really been awesome. And if you haven't noticed, obviously we changed the set a bit, we changed the graphics a bit, and we've totally changed the formatting of the show. And what we're gonna do moving forward is we're gonna try doing three separate shows per week, all with a different topic and a different um, reason for each one of them. And Monday's shows are gonna be me talking about uh, my passion for the week, a product I'm keeping my eye out on, that could be an actual physical product in sports uh, or a product on the marketing side, and performance. And that could be, again, that could be on the sports side, that could also be in the marketing performance area and we're gonna I'm gonna kind of break down each one of those on every Monday show every Wednesday we're gonna have an interview with somebody really awesome I've got some really great people that are coming on the show and then on Fridays I'm gonna have my director of sports marketing Kyle sit down with me we're gonna hash out what happened during the week talk about business talk about marketing and we might even do a tequila tasting so there's a lot of awesome stuff to keep uh, watching for and I'm excited to have you all along for the ride so let's jump right into it what am I passionate about this week well it's Thanksgiving week um, there's a lot of stuff going on from a business perspective it's a short business week but there's a million things going on basically every client that we work for is doing some sort of promotion sale marketing strategy something for Black Friday Cyber Monday um, and everything in between leading up through the holidays so there's a lot of busyness and a lot of work going on here at bold um, I'm really passionate about that but I think more importantly as awesome as all that stuff is I'm really passionate about this holiday and I think that it's important for everyone to make sure to take a couple steps back um, and recognize what it's for and, and give thanks, give back to somebody in need, um, whether that's you know, donating your time, donating something, giving out food, uh, or even just calling or visiting somebody that's you know, a family member that you haven't seen in years that maybe you've neglected a little bit. I think that's more important to talk about during this week uh, of Thanksgiving, just giving back some way, shape, or form. I'm really passionate about that, and I hope every one of you are as well. Um, let's fast forward a little bit, get back into the business side of things, and talk about a product that I've got my eye on uh, as of last week. Well, I've been talking about it and I've had my eye on it for a long time, but last week kind of sparked it off. The Samsung Gear VR, it's the consumer version of their VR headset. Uh, they launched that on Amazon and BestBuy.com and it sold out almost immediately. And I know that Samsung has said apparently there's gonna be more available either on their site or through these retailers, but What's really exciting about this is it shows how much the consumer interest has increased on 360 video VR virtual reality. Um, and for, for it to sell out that, that quickly on both Amazon and Best Buy, I think that's really kind of keying into the future of where um, the attention span of people is kind of heading towards. It's still super in its infancy and I've always talked about this. I also still think that video kind of isn't quite there yet. I know that, I remember New York Times a few weekends ago if you get the New York Times um, sent out a Google Cardboard headset and you could look at some of the New York Times video in 360 VR, which was really kind of cool. Um, it's awesome. I don't think anybody's going to be getting their news on a consistent basis like that, except for maybe people like me or gearheads out there, uh, tech heads out there. Um, but I, I think the video thing is still a way out. We're doing 360 video. We even did an episode you know, a long time ago with 360. But... I think that the bigger um, focus for VR in this headset really is video gaming, is gaming, um, virtual reality, because I think it has an interactive piece that's missing from video. Will video get there? Absolutely. And I think video 
in 2016 is going to continue to really become, um, you know, a, a it's really going to push forward with 360 over the next year. But I think if you really watch out on the gaming side and the virtual reality side, that's where it's going to take off. But just to know that there's so much consumer interest in this product um, just really shows that uh, there's a lot of viability in that space. And if you could start to figure out how to incorporate a brand message or start utilizing 360 video, utilizing VR headsets in whether it's marketing or just in your product side, you're really gonna have a lot of people that are interested because the more people that have headsets, the more people are gonna wanna watch more and different content as, as well as the gaming stuff. So that's something to really watch out for, not just right now, but going into 2016. Um, Skipping over to performance, what, what do I want to talk about this week? Well, since it's uh, Thanksgiving week, we've got Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and I was talking about how all of our clients are doing some sort of marketing thing, so it's chaos here, which is awesome, but it brings me back to like, what, how do you track these performances of marketing campaigns over a time period like this in the holidays where everything's about sales, right? I mean, that's what every single client wants to know. How can we sell more stuff? What are we selling? How are we selling it? Are we giving a deal out? Are we tracking this somehow? What are we doing? And so let's focus in on the performance aspects of e-commerce during a real heavy call to action holiday season. Um, I think there's a big mistake and a lot of clients want to push towards, well, it's all about the top line numbers or the bottom line numbers. How much are we selling? How much are we making off of it? How many new customers are we creating? Those are great KPIs, but I really think there's a huge role of importance in looking at not just how many sales are created or generated, but also in the engagement factor of the marketing itself. Um, we do a lot of digital marketing and a lot of social marketing here at Bold, so a lot of the work that we do, especially working with e-commerce clients, is completely trackable. And I think when you have the ability to not only track how the performance of the ads are doing, whether that's sales, click-throughs, et cetera, but also if we're talking about the social side, what's the interaction like with the ads? Are people commenting, liking, are they hiding? Um, are they engaging with that content? Um, so it's not just about necessarily driving direct sales, though that's probably the number one KPI and indicator, and I know it is for most of our clients right now in the short term, but you still have to keep the long term in mind or even a moderate term in mind, which is there's gonna be tons of sales had on Black Friday, over the weekend, Cyber Monday, uh, even throughout the week next week when everyone's buying their stuff online. And if you're an e-commerce retailer, yeah, you're gonna be wanting to pay attention to and grab some of that market share, but they might not, this customer, whoever your customer is, might not buy on Cyber Monday. They may not buy Black Friday or over the weekend. However, if they've engaged heavily in your marketing and they really seem to connect with whatever message it is or whatever deal it is that you're putting out there, they might be a person that's a late buyer. It doesn't buy until right before the end of the year, right before the Christmas holiday. So you really have to take that into consideration where don't just focus in on what short-term sales are happening over this next, you know, 10 days, look at not only are those, are we making sales, but then how are people engaging with our ads, our content, whatever that might be that we're pushing out. And if it's a really positive interaction, even if the sales are not quite hitting the numbers that you were hoping, there might be a more long-term sales approach still going on. Because I think that a lot of clients try to deviate to this like really super hyper short-term, just punch everybody in the face and sell a bunch of stuff right now today and they lose track of the long term, which in my book is more important. Do you want one sale today or do you want 10 sales over, you know, over the next year with that same customer? I'd rather take the 10 sales over a period of time with that customer versus one sale only. Um, so you still have to make sure that whatever it is you're doing from a marketing perspective hits the engagement KPI as well as the sales KPI. So that's where I think you need to pay attention to over the next month going into the end of the year and uh, that's something that I'm making sure that our clients are paying attention to as well. With that, my friends, we wrap up episode 50. I'd love to hear what you think of the new format and please make sure to stay tuned for the coming episodes because they're going to be totally different from this episode. Thanks so much for watching or listening if you're on the podcast. Make sure not to miss this Wednesday's episode where I talk to Andrew Devlin, business advisor, and he gives me some interesting insight on business and marketing. Also, don't forget, this Friday, I have Kyle, my director of sports marketing on the show. We talk about business from the week, a lot of marketing stuff, 
and we taste tequila. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the show. Uh, and if you haven't shared the show, please share it with some people. Tell them to subscribe. I will owe you one if you get somebody else to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And the more people that watch the show, the better it's going to get. So please subscribe and share it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.